How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome all to the kitchen. And you're like, what? <laughs> what is he doing in the kitchen? We're making coffee. But no, seriously, we are gonna do a video today on this guy. I bet a lot of you remember this. Pro actually, many of you probably found my channel because of this. This is the air-cooled water cooler. I made it just over a year ago. A year ago today, we made this contraption. Before I had a 3D printer and all that other good stuff, we made this thing by hand, and it was a lot of fun. And since that video has been sitting on a shelf, you might have seen it in other videos, and it's got like this nasty, gross, milk-white water in it, and it's um, corroded is a good word for it. But I thought, you know, since it's been a year since we made it, the video still gets quite a bit of views. Why not make a follow-up one year later? Does this thing still work? Does it hold water? And how exactly does that corrosion affect its cooling performance? Because I still have the uh, 2500K and we still, like, we can look at the old numbers and compare. So uh, let's see if this thing works. Now, it's been a while since we've seen that the water cooled air cooler mounted in a PC. Now I have it on the old 2500K like we ran last time. 360 millimeter radiator, three A12X25s, pump res combo on the backside here. And we're just gonna fill the loop up first, see if we even hold water anymore. And if we do, then we will run some tests and uh, stuff. And also while we, I was doing this, I was looking at that red circle that we were talking about. And I, f I think I remember what it was. Um, I made a video way back and I remember putting red food coloring in it. And I thought I cleaned it all out, but evidently there must've been just enough left that it stained whatever, whatever it touched. I guess it was maybe the epoxy? I don't know. But I think that's what it is, red food coloring. So mystery solved. So now let's fill up this loop and see if we, see if we leak. Good chance we leak, but I don't know. I mean, when I first made this thing, I was quite surprised it even worked. So what do I know? Let's just do a bit of an inspection here. We got, okay. got all that nasty sediment all stirred up, but I don't see any drips yet. So well, I think we keep going. Sure does take a lot of water in this thing. Essentially got two giant reservoirs. Well, wouldn't say giant, but two reservoirs nonetheless. Far no leaks. God, I forgot how weird this looked. <laughs> We're almost to the top. I could probably just pour this in here, be way quicker. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, I need to make this take longer. There you got it, we got the loop completed. So one year on the shelf with more corrosion than the Statue of Liberty. And it looks like we're doing, it looks like we're working. We're getting air in the system somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't see any drips. We're just sucking it off the surface there. I had no idea, nor did I attempt, or set out to make this thing so bulletproof yet here we are it's been running for a minute as you see i've added a monitor uh kind of smashed everything onto this island but i did not expect to get this far but here we are now i went back and watched the video where i ran this not where i, where I initially ran it in a bucket of ice water but where i ran it mounted like this uh with a radiator and in that test i ran the 2500K at 4.8 gigahertz with a 240 mil radiator, same pump reservoir, obviously same 
water cooled air cooler. But now we got the 360 mil radiator, same pump. Uh, we're now running at 4.9 gigahertz. Uh, I could turn it down to, you know, 4.8, but we already got a larger radiator and we have a year of seasoning on our cooler. So we're gonna see if it can stick nearby the old numbers that it did then. Right now we look like we've stabilized at about 36 degrees Celsius. So not actually doing it too bad, but um, how will it do in the long run? Now I don't think, I think we're past the point of possibly leaking or any catastrophic failure, but I stand to be corrected. Uh, I do have the power supply outside and I'm gonna monitor it. So I'm gonna let it run for 45 minutes. Hopefully the heat that gets generated doesn't loosen anything up, but there's a lot of water to heat up now. So I think we're temperatures are gonna be sitting pretty good um, after 45 minutes, even though, even though we have quite a bit of corrosion on that air cooler. So here we go, let's start her up and see what happens. So we are, what is it, halfway through this test and we haven't moved a single degree. It looks like a solid, steady line. What are we even sitting at right now? Where are you at, Mousy? There you are. Uh, current temperature is sitting at 58, 63 degrees, where our average up to this point has been is at 63 degrees Celsius. So I think we're going to have to run this quite a bit longer than 45 minutes if you want to see any raise in temperature because we're just we just transfer the heat so well and there's just there's so much water to heat up that it just is gonna take a long time. So let's say we've ran about 22 minutes. Uh, I'll just clock an hour from here on. It'll be in like almost, almost an hour and a half. Actually, I'll just round it up. We'll just do from here to when I come back. It'll be one hour and 30 minutes and we'll see if we've moved any bit at all. Bye. So it's been over an hour. It's not an hour and 30 just yet, but I don't think I'm gonna wait that long. It's, it's it li literally hasn't moved at all, really. I mean, right now we're sitting at an average temperature of 64 degrees. And I mean, we're creeping up if anything. This, this CPU just not, doesn't put out enough temperature, enough, enough wattage, enough power to heat the water up fast enough that the radiator can't take care of it, so. Uh, I think we're gonna call it. It's still good. I mean, I mean, it's not as good. If we look at the old scores at 4.8 gigahertz when this thing was fresh, no, uh, no buildup of any scale or anything like that, we had an average temperature of 62 degrees at a room temperature of 19 degrees Celsius. Uh, the room temperature today is what, 21 degrees Celsius. So it's a little warmer actually uh, today in this room than it was when I originally tested this. So I mean, delta wise, we're actually not looking too bad. But anyway, I mean, we're doing a lot better than I thought, because I, if looking at all the gunk and build up on that air cooler, I was gonna, I found it kind of hard to believe that it was gonna do decent. I really didn't even think it was gonna hold together after sitting on a shelf for an entire year with just nasty, gross water in it. But hey, here we are, still working, and I forgot how good it actually does work. So now it's got me thinking, why have we never made another one? Maybe, maybe it's time now that we have a year more experience of making stuff that we try to make something that actually maybe fits in a case that we can run for a long time. We've proven that it can sit on the shelf and then come back out of retirement and work, but we haven't really proven that you could actually run this 24 seven every day and have it perform well and survive. But I'll leave that up to you guys. If you guys think that this is worth revisiting, I know we've kind of beat this to death uh, a few times, but do you think it's worth taking another look at? What cooler would you recommend uh, preferably something a bit smaller that can fit in a case, or I guess I just have to get a bigger case or different orientation style case. Because if you did something like a DH-15, add a big cooler, but everything's possible. So let me know what you guys think. But in a nutshell, it still works and it still works really good. Till next time.